Yes, uh, students, so we have uh, finished the discussion of the chapter rat trap. And uh, today we'll discuss the value points, which are there covered in this uh, chapter. And after that, I'll be uh, sharing a few multiple choice questions with you all. So let's see if you're able to answer that. And you can assess uh, yourself that how many answers you know. Although we had a test yesterday also, but as I've said, uh, the 10 questions are not enough uh, to assess this chapter. It's a lengthy chapter and so many things that can be asked. Okay. Now, what is the important theme or what is uh, the important, uh, you can say, idea which is discussed in this chapter? Can I get some answers, please? Yes. What has been discussed over here? The underlying theme is that kindness and goodness can bring about a change in a person. Yes, it can. And uh, right, that is shown by Edla Wilminson. So she's an epitome, as you can say, right, uh, of uh, someone who is able to understand, who is willing to give someone a second chance. And uh, yes, by her reaction at the towards the end of the story, how she comes back home running when they uh, have attended the church service and she wants to see everything is safe at home. So she was, uh, you know, like, of course, expecting that, that this person should not betray her trust. So she trusted the peddler. She brought him home. And rather, when her father was going to send him away, she intervened and did not want him to be sent because yes so she felt that we made a promise to him we should keep that promise and she treated him as a gentleman respectfully and uh, how did the peddler repay her trust he also behaved like a gentleman he returned the money that he had stolen and he gave edla a christmas present what was the christmas present that edla got yes what was the present that edla got it was a rat trap because the peddler, he knows nothing else. He, it seems his whole life, it revolves around making rat traps. The ideas that they have, they are rat traps only, right? When he's caught in trouble, when he is there, you know, like, yes, uh, the Iron Master realizes his mistake and uh, realizes this man was uh, lying to me and he was dishonest. How does he explain himself? How does he explain that situation? Again, he gives that comparison. Again, he gives the analogy of the rat trap right so yes so this man he makes rat traps and for him his life revolves around the rat trap he falls into the rat trap he comes out of it the world is a rat trap so it is rat trap rat trap for him all the time how does this chapter focus on the theme of loneliness how does it focus on the theme of loneliness yes the peddler is lonely crofter is lonely iron master and his daughter, they have been alone for many years, right? So the theme of loneliness and how people react in their loneliness. How does the crofter react in his loneliness? What does he do? What does he do? He shares his confidences. He becomes very hospitable. He's quite talkative, right? And uh, yes, so he's able to, you know, like uh, maybe uh, wants to win the trust of the peddler. He talks to him because he's been lonely for a long time. But uh, as a, a consequence, or you can uh, say here, uh, repaying the kindness of the uh, crofter, what does uh, the peddler do? Very bad of him. He steals the money that he shows him, right? The loneliness of the iron master and his daughter. So the iron master, when he sees uh, the tramp uh, in uh, the iron mill, he mistakes him to be his old friend and he wants him to go home with him, right? So it is the loneliness that they want. They want someone to be with them so that they can spread, uh, you know, like the Christmas cheer and the festivity, right? Yes, yeah, so about honesty. What about honesty over here? So it is in the end, yes, uh, the peddler thinks that uh, it has, uh, he's been honest in his uh, discussions or in his uh, behavior there when he tells the iron master, right? And he says that if I have fallen into this trap, even you can. And how does he become a truly honest person once again? He uh, returns the money, right? So he does not want to be, you know, like uh, disrespectful in the eyes of the lady who treated him with great respect, okay? So kindness, yes, Edla Wilminson, how she treated the man with great kindness, so caring and sharing and treating him as a respectful person, yeah? Right, 
and then of course materialism what does the rat trap what is it a metaphor for the world and how the world with its material goods with its uh, luxuries and riches how it is a trap for everyone yes so it is there in this chapter so these are the points the values that run through it and they are depicted in various incidents okay right so let as i uh, told you right i'll be sharing a few questions with you all just have a look these i was uh, able to find uh, from the net right uh, so you can just uh, see these questions here okay let's see if you're able to answer them and uh, let me hear, uh, get your responses why does the peddler knit up various kinds of thoughts what kind of thoughts come to the peddler's mind what kind of thoughts come to the peddler mind that the world is a rat trap yes and he feels very happy that other people are also there falling into the trap right so why does he knit up various kinds of thought is it because he's greedy is it because of traveling is it because of loneliness and poverty or none yes which is the correct answer yes can i get your response because of loneliness and poverty so he has this idea that the world is a rat trap and and he's walking all alone and what does he do he walks the length of the roads alone right homeless shelterless and so because of loneliness and poverty such thoughts come to his mind now in the peddler's view what does the world look like a rat a jungle a jigsaw a rat trap yes can i get your answers please yeah what is it it is a rat trap quite obvious according to the seller what leads us to various miseries what leads us to the miseries attractions people friends wishes and greed of comfort what is it people make us miserable friends make us miserable our attractions make us miserable what is it our greeds of comfort so your materialistic luxuries that we want they make us fall into the rat trap yes fine now next one is sweden mines are rich in which ore the iron master iron master what did he do what was happening in the furnace what were they melting the iron ore and what were they beating the sheets that big iron which they were and that uh, sheets they are beating into so what is it rich in it's rich in iron ore so please keep on writing down your responses assess yourself and just find out uh, that how many of you are able to give the correct answer now in what manner has the story been narrated is it a non fictitious style so fiction is a story is it a non story way is it like an essay right realistic manner fairy tale manner or none of these so what is it like it's like a fairy tale because so many unexpected things also happen in this chapter then of course how it ends with a fairy tale ending that everything is happy towards the end the peddler changes the peddler becomes a respectful person once again at least he feels that yes he is out of the rat trap okay yeah what is the message of the story what is the message love and kindness are powerful reformers kindness is powerless kindness encourages thieves thieves need reprimand so what is the message of the story yeah love and kindness are powerful reformers so it is here edla with her kindness with her love with her caring and uh, yes yeah, so she's wanted to spread the christmas cheer and how she brought about a change in the edla so love and kindness are there and wait wait let's go back again yeah whom does this story revolve around the crofter and his daughter around the crofter around iron man oh around peddler the rat trap seller is it the crofter and his daughter so we have the iron master and his daughter is it the crofter no is it around iron man who's iron man over here right so we don't have any superhero so it is around the peddler the whole story revolves about him about his life 
about his loneliness. Right. Now let's see the next question. Why did the peddler have to take shelter? Why did he go to you know people's homes seeking shelter, asking them for shelter? Because of his wishes? Because he wants to steal? Because he wants to be with his friends? Or because he had no home? What is the answer? Why did he have to take shelter? Because he had no home, right? Yes. That is why he, and how is he welcomed by the people? Was he welcomed, you know, like uh, with a smile? No, people were quite sour-faced and they were quite angry, annoyed at why this person has come to their home seeking shelter and not many of them were hospitable. That is why he was very surprised when the crofter gave him shelter and food and treated him so well. Who offered shelter to the peddler? A beggar, a friend? A milkman, an old proctor. We all know the answer. What is it? An old proctor. What made the peddler finally change his face? Edla's beauty. Edla was not beautiful as it is written over there. She was not uh, very pretty, but uh, she was uh, quite a modest person. His mistaken identity. He was treated as a captain. That made him change his ways. His greed. He wanted more money, so he fell into the rat trap and became a better person. Kindness and care. What changed him? Finally, at the end, it was kindness and care that brought about. Yeah. So what does the metaphor rat trap in the lesson signify? What does it signify? Humans, thieves, attraction, human greed and distractions. Uh, I think it's a D1. Yes, you all agree with me? Yes, ma'am, you keep on telling us the answer. We are just listening to you. What lightens the seriousness of the lesson? You know, there are certain elements of humor over there. One is that, yes, how the peddler compares the world with the rat trap when he's caught by the iron master, how he, you know, like uh, gives his uh, justification, right? That the world is a rat trap. I have been caught, you can also be caught. Then uh, how he sleeps with one eye open, right? And he's able to fall asleep there in that uh, noise over there in the iron mill. And he's stuck in the forest and he thinks this is the rat trap. He's unable to come out, right? So these elements are there, these little things which are there. Yes, it is deep peddler's sense of humor. What turns the sympathy of the reader towards the peddler? Are we sympathetic towards the peddler? Why are we sympathetic towards him? He has uh, committed a crime. Right? He's stolen money. He's betrayed the trust of the crofter. He once again, very dishonestly, he has gone with the iron master when Edla comes to take him. But still, towards the end, we are sympathetic towards the peddler. Why is it so? Why? Because he was able to change himself. Right? He was able to, like we felt, we would not have been so happy if uh, the peddler would have continued being dishonest. And as expected here, like uh, from the Iron Master's home, he would have stolen a few things. Then we would have definitely not been sympathetic towards him. But what makes us sympathetic that in the end, he became, once again, an honest person. He returned the money that he had taken from the crofter. So what earns us the sympathy? What is it that earns us uh, his sympathy, his actions, his stories, his face, his sense of humor and innocent acceptance? Yes. So about his condition that is there, his poverty stricken condition, the rags that he wears, the torn, tattered clothes that he is walking around in. So it does make us be uh, sympathetic that life should not be so unkind. That uh, how did he get those rat traps? How did he make them? He used to beg for the material. He used to steal the material, right? And uh, we, we know that he's not a completely honest person. But how he takes his poverty in a very, you know, realistic way. He has accepted his fate. And what makes him happy? Let's see, I am going to fall into the rat trap. And there are other people also who are going to fall into the rat trap. Right? So how he deals with his condition and how he deals with his situation. And so, yes, it is deep part his sense of humor and innocent acceptance. So from where did the peddler get the idea of the world being a rat trap? So where did he get this idea from? Because he made rat traps. 
from his friend's situation, from the crofter's behavior, from Edler's words, or from his circumstances and miserable life. Yes, I, I think so it is from his circumstances and miserable life. Okay, yes. And uh, right, uh, I, I think so we've discussed the questions that I have. Okay, yeah, these, this, these are left here. Who is the author of the rat trap? That you can tell me, yes, who is it? It's Selma Legolo, right? Yeah, remember this. Which country does the author belong to? I had asked yesterday also, where is the story set? So where is it set? Where, who, which country does the author belong to? Belongs to Sweden. And where has the story been set up? Is it in the jewelry shop? Is it in the forests of Sweden? The roads of Sweden or the mines of Sweden? So the backdrop is that of, yes, so I like, yeah, it is the, what is the backdrop of it? The crofter, the iron master, the forest, the iron mill, what is it? The mines. And yes, so Sweden mines are rich in which iron ore we have discussed. So I, I think so we have discussed the questions, yes. And uh, right. Okay, very nice. Good, I, I got uh, responses also from you all. So that's uh, very nice here. So you should uh, keep participate in uh, such uh, activities and uh, you should uh, hear. Because uh, naturally, you know, when you do your multiple choice questions, you know, answers which are very close to each other. So to find the right answer, that is also a tact, a technique, and naturally, it is uh, more uh, easier if you have read the chapter thoroughly. Okay, right. Yes. 